Captain Fox. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's some. All right, we're going to have two Falcos now. Well, we had two Falcos <coughs> in the previous set. Fox Falco is a very... This is going to be a fun time for uh, for Brett as Luigi. A very very fun team to play. Mm -hmm. Also a very heartbreaking team to play at times. Um, when you're playing as Fox Falco, you feel like you could beat any team composition mm -hmm. um, when you're doing well. But sometimes it doesn't work out. Yeah. Um, they're going to have to prevent the ball from rolling the wrong way. Uh, that's something when Bones and I were teaming together. I had a lot of team's advice to give him. Uh, one time we had lost uh, a tournament. I think it was our second tournament together. And I said, wow, a lot of the balls bounce the roll w wrong way. And he said, as a spacey player, it's your job to make sure the ball bounces your way. There's no way around it because that's how you win and lose sets as Fox and Falco. You, yeah. need, to, you need to control. Mm -hmm. um, so with that sort of mentality, we'll see. They can keep themselves from getting into you know, the crouch cancel down smash from Luigi. The right. big combos from Robotic Fish. Um, I would say, if I were to just pick it, that I think this is going to be a 3-1 uh, a in favor of Bones and Sloth. If you had to pick it, what's your prediction? Uh, I was going to say 3-2. You're going to say 3-2? Yeah, I, had some, I have some faith in, uh, in Robotic and Brett. In favor of Blue Team? In favor of Blue Team, yeah. Okay, we'll see uh, who's closer. I love predictions for Grand Finals. <laughs> I mean, no bias. Now that's going to be... The Grand Finals is going to be th the fun one. Oh, yeah, in... Uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he no. stole the ledge from Robotic Fish. Spood Beast finds a way to SD even when he's not the one dying. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. He is he, uh, Spood Beast. Spood Beast is known. You know how like they say none tries to lose a game and throw them. Yep. Um, Spood Beast actually doesn't. He doesn't try to, <laughs> but he has a way of <laughs> losing at the most critical times, dropping his leads. And uh, that's why so many people like want to root for him, other than just being like a really nice guy, like the homie. Yeah. Um, and a smart player who's fun mm -hmm. to cheer for. I mean, he's Luigi, right? Um, he has a way of dropping some games sometimes, and it's with it's with little it miscues like that. So I think one of the critical components for the red team is going to be um, staying on top of their game and not not giving the other spaces the ball to keep the metaphor going. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if Bones is oh no. Whoa! They get wow. the, they get the ball right back. <laughs> All right, <laughs> interception. Um, there we go. If Bones is about ball control, I I mean don't mean. If Bones is about ball control, um, you can't keep giving it to him because uh, his thought process is going to take advantage. <laughs> up smash? Yep. Let's not get the up smash. We both saw it. Brett doing a really good job of holding on to his stock. And you see it there, a little bit of impatience from Sloth. Um, Bones is in the front. He's not winning the exchanges, but he's doing fine. There's a lot of parity there in the center of the stage. Sloth tries to run in, and then the opponents know that is a critical mm -hmm. time to throw out a move. If you and your opponent, if you and your partner are occupying the same space, a move hits both of you, uh -huh. and if you get hit, they're going to hit each other, and then it's still um, two hits on them for one hit on you. Yeah. So you don't, don't just don't cross wires unless you have a tactical plan for it like you know mm -hmm. the shield and attack through yeah. or the i'm gonna jump there's this thing you can do with falco and fox that's like it's a kind of higher level too yeah where falco's in the front he does a full hop throws out probably a down air okay and then fox runs in and has a mix-up opportunity the opponent can't jump or they get down air in fact if they're really jump happy you just run under and start like charging up smash call out down or up smash beautiful yeah 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 um you can get the grab throw them up into it and mm -hmm. then maybe do the uh the up tilt to send it back up again and then focus on the platform it's really nice right um aside from little tactical plays like that don't don't cross the wires <laughs> don't cross the streams you guys have watched ghostbusters before right I have to compliment um, Brett. Uh, he did a really good job uh, last game uh, on the last stock when uh, Robotic Fish was on the left side and he was uh, trying to finish out the stock. And he was in um, center stage just wave dashing forwards and backwards trying to catch the approach of Sloth. It's pretty good. Spood Beast on a roll. The ball rolling into the opponent's hands as he dives off the stage and is not able to up back to Randall. Loses his stock. Um, luckily, they are playing so well they are still in the lead. Well, slightly. Now they're behind. So what do you think of the Yoshi's pick? Uh, who picked it? Uh, Sloth and Bones. But they've been picking the stage a lot. Maybe they've practiced on it. You know what? I do like it. Um, 
It, it's, it always depends on game plan is my answer. Of course, of course. So if I'm playing with Bones here, um, my thought is uh, Falco doesn't have that much room to laser, first of all, is what most everyone says. But most importantly, it's easy to box Luigi out. Mm -hmm. If you're Luigi, there's this um, this fallacy where you're like, I can wave dash across the whole stage. Right, right. I can't, <laughs> you can't get anywhere because you're being boxed out at all times. Right. Um, unless the red team has the whole stage together, there's no way you can get in. Fox or Falco will do fadeaway down airs. Um, and look at those combos you get off of it, too. And Ooh. you're just going to be locked in the corner, unable to move the entire time. Mm -hmm. It's um, kind of akin to the prophylaxis that we saw from the Double Peach team. Right. Um, just on a very micro scale against one character. And, you know, against Luigi or uh, or against Captain Falcon mm -hmm. or against Ice Climbers, um, all people who have a very much like a lunge or stay where I am play style, mm -hmm. that's really effective. Yeah. Um, like, disturbingly effective. It kind of makes... Like, a character who would be way better in doubles than he is in singles, Luigi, I think kind of about the same. A lot of people say he's better in doubles than singles. Okay. I, I actually don't think so, if you're playing it right. Wow, it it's a much different much game discussion. than the first one. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> 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 they did a good... Invisible ceiling. Optimal. Well, double up smash. Calculated. <laughs> I don't want to point this out. I just looked away. Um, Cascade gets the offstage rest. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just looked over, and he was <laughs> flying off the stage, and he rested. <laughs> How could I not? So Falco was in his fire. Never mind. Uh, we are going to Dreamland. Um, a pretty sensible stage um, in a lot of ways. The only way um, you can look at Fox Falco really having an advantage Ooh, Excellent shine. Turn really on down air. And it was a good play by Spood Beast, but unfortunately, Falco goes straight up. Arkyle. Uh, excuse me. Arkyle. That was really good awareness. He knew he wanted to go for that. Roboticus. Yes. It was, there was a lot of high-level play going on there. They all knew exactly what the right thing to do uh -huh. was executed. Um, it was beautiful. And you know what? Blue team comes out on top. Robotic Fish might have lived had he hit an angle and not just gone straight up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Luigi. Very Great. good at trading in the good, air. Good, good trade. Yeah. A good thing to do there is since you know he's uh, becoming an AM5K, shoutouts to uh, Ryan the Moon, um, let him throw out that aerial, and then just like drop for a sec. And then you get the up air off tilt, whatever it is. No. Yeah, another Phantasm kill for Robotic Fish, right? Was that Robotic Fish? Or was it Bones? Uh, it was Bones. It was Bones, yes, for Bones. We've seen a couple of those so far uh, this tournament. <coughs> All things considered, game pretty even. Bones is going to throw out the laser, try to save him. Very smart robotic fish using lasers to break up Bones' mm -hmm. lasers, lasers on lasers on lasers, and um, red team able to secure the edge guard on Fox. Oh, I might have down aired there. If I'm uh, Bones, he gets the misfire. Bones sent off the stage. Robotic fish extends all the way into the corner, and Bones is like, "See, I'm trying to save my team." There we go. Okay. Bones tries to grab the ledge. He does. Uh, yes. Uh, Luigi takes a while to actually grab on. I really uh, like how comfortable uh, Brett's playing, despite being the objective worst character on the screen. He's uh, he's doing a really good job with what he's got. Yes, and what he's got is the important part. Um, if you're Luigi, you mitigate what you don't got, because mm -hmm. there are some things he's the best at. He does have the fastest burst speed on the screen. Right. Um, he does have the ability to aerial a whole lot Ooh. of times and get gimps on Great. Bones. Big play. And a team that lost in loses Brett round one. Off. This team lost and loses round one. They're about to go up 2-1 on Bones and Sloth. Unless Bones can make another miracle happen. <laughs> okay, just charges down smash. Not sure about that one. Yeah, Whiskey Woods. Sigh. I am I'm actually so what impressed by Robotic Fish holding the ledge. Wow. Um, knowing that, trusting that Spoo Beast will cover the stage, mm -hmm. I 100% would have wall jumped there. I don't care if it's. <laughs> <laughs> I 100% would have wall jumped there. <laughs> so we got a Bones fan in the chat. Shout outs. He does, some, nut East Coast. He does some nutty stuff. I don't know about that. He's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Pretty damn good. Okay, so we're not going to Yoshi's. They know that. <laughs> That's immediately. <now. laughs> um, let's see. So what do you think for stage? There. They went on stadium. That's a uh, that's tough. They didn't play. I don't Actually, think yet. if it's I'm been if I'm them, I'm on battlefield. 
They play Battlefield? I want Battlefield to find Fox Falco. Mm, yeah. Literally anything but Dreamland's fine. But you... So, there's... Their win condition so far has been boxing out Luigi in the corner. We saw right. how they massacred mm -hmm. um, Spoodbeast stocks on Yoshi's story. Right, right. Um, slow, maybe it wasn't massacre. You see how they drained Spoodbeast stocks out of him in a devastating way on Yoshi's story. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't able to do anything, caught in the corner the whole time. Battlefield is a small stage that will allow very similar things. On okay. a stage like FD or uh, Stadium, you can still do that, but you have to be careful on the way. Robotic Fish dying very early. Um, hopefully that doesn't get in his head too much. That's not a good start. But you know what? They are up 2-1. So maybe for his mentality, he's like, all right, even if we drop this game due to my mistake, we'll be all right. Mm -hmm. What I hear, Robotic Fish has done some work on his mentality throughout the uh, throughout the years. Nice get-up attack. Yeah, I was talking about this one all day. What do you guys know about this finale? It's not this finale. Eh? I'm impressed. No, I'm good. I got it to you, actually. Thank you. I gotta watch that so I can stop drinking it myself. Yeah, you know. It's, it's called Tapped again. Tapped is the name of the doctor. Yeah. Um, but my, some of my friends are. Um, all I right. Watched. So my, our wonderful TO and production staff offered us waters. Meanwhile, Robotic Fish lost three stocks and Spoopy's lost one. Um, wow. It's gonna be up. That was fast. Is this what it's like being distracted while commentating? Wow, that was fast. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it goes. I mean, trying out a shield. He gets the up smash. Wow, uh... invisible ceiling, killing Luigi. That's twice now this set, right? Or was that the last set? That was this set for, for uh, second game. Oh, that's scary. Gets an air, yes. I would run off the stage with double laser. He was worried about Luigi, more aware of the situation than Snacks was. Okay, looks like they want Spood Beast to be the one on the stage, and Robotic Fish to be the one on the ground, um, on the edge for those edge guards. Mm -hmm. Couldn't tell you why. <laughs> Maybe because he just hits hard. I don't know. Maybe because of how confident he is too. Like, he seems really at home in center stage. Spood Beast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he needs it so that he can. Um, he can sway to either side easily. Right, right. That double up smash, that's pretty much the end of the game. Um, the games that Spacey's did win on these tighter quarter stages mm -hmm. have been clean. Look, you can see the back, yes, you see the back airs coming in from Sloth. They're mm -hmm. like keeping him boxed in just like we were talking about. Right, right. Look, you got nowhere to go now. Boom, shine. Okay, yeah, shine would have been real good. <laughs> shine, okay. He's not giving just, up though. Just hit him off the stage, It's that's all right too. I'm a big fan of the team combo. Yeah, and that's it. Ends up dying from the miss, uh, misfire. We're going to game five here in Losers Finals. And uh, it's been a very simple story. Smaller stages, Spacey's destroyed them. Right. Bigger stages, able to edge it out for uh, exactly. Robotic Fish and Spoon Beast. So. so what do you think now, Pokemon? Oh, uh, no, FG, they haven't gone there yet. Yeah, they're going to be... They're probably going <laughs> to... They're probably going to be worried about... Um, Spood Beast dying early, which is still possible in FD. But overall, Spood Beast and Robotic Fish might have more ground control than even Fox Falco team. Because they do have the lasers to aid them the same right. way. Um, here's one issue. Uh, we talked about a good Falco um, Bones is in particular at right. saving his Fox teammate with lasers. A lot of the times, you can jump on a platform and sort of block them. There's no platforms here to block. So if Fox just goes really high on FD, it's mm -hmm. really easy to save him. So we'll see if that small difference plays into their hands. Okay. Oh, he hits him off the stage. He's okay! Ooh. And he's able to... That All was right. planned. He was able to edge guard Robotic Fish. And he's down to shut him off the stage. Spoopies has some edge guarding chops. He tries to... <laughs> <laughs> That's all he has. Poor Luigi. <laughs> That's a nice pickup with a down smash there. And look, they go in to try to 2v1 Bones, but Bones is playing too evasive. Mm -hmm. I would have loved an up tilt there from Fox. Maybe an up smash. Instead, he's a little, maybe a little too focused on uh, playing against Robotic Fish. It looks mm -hmm. like, actually, if you just look at Sloth, it looks like he is only aware of one other character on the screen, and that's Robotic Fish. Yeah, they're kind of breaking up into two 1v1s right now. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think that's the game you want to play against a team with bones on it. Okay, yeah, that could have been big. It's a kind of a neat idea, a uh, novel idea, going for the down air into the up smash on Luigi. It mm -hmm. almost worked, really. Those were some key lasers from Robotic Fish. They end up keeping Spood Beast on the stage. Um, the more he can he get out of the stock, the better. So well. Unfortunately, Robotic Fish is taking a lot of damage while Spood Beast plays just a little more passively. And you can see Robotic Fish has died three times already. Yeah. And to no fault of his own, he's doing what he can. Yep. So Robotic Fish keeping himself disengaged. Looks like they cleanly get Spoot Beast in the front. I guess that's what they want at the low percents. I like to shine out his shield from Robotic Fish. Converts good, it into good. a back air. Sent off the stage. Is he going to be okay? Looks like he is. Yes. Did you see? That's the same Ooh. thing we saw from Rohit earlier. Right? He shields an attack, gets the grab, mm -hmm. and then he just holds him for a second. Gets a pummel in. That way, Sloth has plenty of time to make it back to the stage. Right. right. This is really doable. Yeah, it was like pretty. If Robotic Fish can hold on to this one stock, that's uh, gonna be. I think it's more likely that <laughs> Spoot Beast is gonna hold on to this one stock, especially because they've had Robotic Fish kind up. of flying into the fight. You got to jump. Oh, he oh. shine spikes him. Gets wall spiked. Okay, it's still possible. Um, we've seen the red team get a couple little yeah. gifts, some big punishes before. Bones already has about fifty percent. But you know what? This is hurting from Bones and Sloth. All this damage they're putting on. Ooh, We've seen yeah. what Bones can do to close out the game. What a what an forward tilt. tilt. Holy, two forward tilts in a row. Team forward tilt. I've named them now. Have you ever seen forward tilt combo to forward tilt? This is rough. He's okay. Oh, he wanted to grab. No. He misses the jump cancel, and that could cost him the oh. game. Desperation time for Spood Beast sliding around the stage, throwing out aerials. He gets oh. Phantom from the forward tilt. He's fine. A tech too. And he gets a miss. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just punish this little Finally, lag. the RNG favored him for a bit. <laughs> he got a Phantom, teched, and then got a misfire.